Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very nice chess game from 1898. And this is also one of the very nice chess games by Wilhelm Steinitz and his opponent is Herbert Trenchard who was also a professional chess player and this chess game was played in Vienna in 1898. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Wilhelm Steinitz starts the game with pushing the e-pawn e5 and we have the Vienna game knight to c3. Knight to f6 and then f4 and this is the Vienna gambit which is a move something like the late king's gambit d5 and we have d3 and this is the Steinitz variation of the Vienna game pushing the pawn advancing knight back developing the knight bishop to d6 c3 challenging the center capturing the pawn capturing one more pawn knight takes on f4 and as you can see black is giving up the center castling bishop to e2 centralizing the rook also Steinitz castled b6 queen to e1 bishop to a6 and knight to g5 knight in also targeting the d-pawn Steinitz pushed the pawn exchanging the bishops kicking the knight back and knight from e to d7 and as you can see Wilhelm Steinitz is actually doing pretty well he has a, he has a strong center and in this position he pushed the pawn forking the bishop and the knight but in this position right now capturing a piece is not possible because the e-pawn is pinned so in this position Wilhelm Steinitz is threatening to move the queen and then capturing one of the pieces so Trencher thought that okay he can retreat one of the pieces and after moving the queen he is going to retreat the second piece and he is going to be safe so we have bishop to f8 and what would you do in this position actually Wilhelm Steinitz he played a very good move actually that move is asking to be played in this position so can you guess the next move of Wilhelm Steinitz Herbert Trenchard was thinking that after moving the queen or blocking the queen let's say with the bishop he is going to move the knight and life is good but can you see the next move of white if I give you three seconds in this position okay so you can also pause your video at any time Stein is played queen to c4 and this move is a very good move an excellent move well black has to defend the knight the knight is under attack so above anything else everything else black has to move the knight and it is white to move what would you do again well in this position Stein is played knight to g6 the f pawn is pinned vacating on f4 liberating the rook and this move is a great move because with playing knight to g6 black can't defend the f pawn with the rook because knight takes rook both defending on e7 controlling on e7 and targeting the f pawn so how to defend what a great move so in this position there is actually no good defense so king to h7 and then back queen takes on f7 capturing a pawn and what now the wave of attack of Steinitz continues he aims on h6 with the bishop and he fired bishop takes on h6 but by Wilhelm Steinitz what a move checking the king knight to e2 check king to h1 capturing the bishop king takes on h6 but now lifting to rook up rook to f5 and we have knight takes on d5 as you can see black accepted the sacrifice but but as you can see the king is not looking safe what would you do in this position actually if you say it, knight to e7 that is also a very good move because threatening checkmate and also threatening checkmate with the rook and with the queen so moving the knight is actually losing for black and there is no good defense but in this position Steinitz played a more aesthetic move well he played rook to h5 this is check what a move what a shot by Steinitz check so he is announcing the king hunting season king takes on h5 and then knight back check and after this move Trenchard resigned 
Beautiful and Elegant Finishing Touches by Wilhelm Steinitz. The possible continuation if King to G4, Queen to H5, check, mate. There is no reasonable defense. And if King to H6, then Queen to G6, check, mate. Once again, and black is getting checkmated. What a beautiful chess game by Wilhelm Steinitz. So he played some important critical moves in this chess game. I want to get back this critical position, so black reasonably thought that if retreating the piece after moving the queen, he can retreat the other piece as well. But after this move, actually, even if you save one of the pieces, you can't defend knight to g6. This is the attack, and also defending on e7, maybe defending with the rook was actually the better move, instead of getting slaughtered. So king to h7 and queen in. Well, then sacrificing the bishop, accepting rook up, and this is a magnificent and a beautiful king hunting. Black resigned because black is getting checkmated. And thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye bye.